Welcome back to another Kimikaze Creation Garage. Here we are in the lean-to. Um, haven't done much with this car. This is my old work ute. Uh, VY one tonner, 5.7 litre. Uh, she's an auto. Um, that's about it. You know, not a bad little beast bought this um, because of the demise of Holden in Australia. Um, I had a I think a BT50 work car before with this one and uh, with that demise and uh, being able to use this uh, um, as a tax benefit for my business uh, having a one tonner um, I bought it yep happened to be a V8 uh, which is good uh, a lot rarer than the uh, six cylinders and the fact that it's a one tonner you don't see many of them but anyway uh, going to do a basic service on it today, show you over the ute what I've done so far and sort of where I plan to go in the future. So here we go. So I bought a basic assortment of stuff. I've always had this car serviced, again because it's a business car, um, basically used 100% for my business. Um, I've always just had it serviced because I needed it and needed it done. Um, but as, a, as I say, it is a bit of a collector and uh, that's the reason I bought it. So I need to get to know it myself because uh, I'd like to be able to do it all myself eventually. So, um, you know, basic service I've done on many cars. But one thing that really surprised me being the 5.7 litre um, with an oil filter, it's about six and a half litres. So had to buy a 10 litre. That was a bit of a shock. I haven't had to buy one of them for a car ever. I don't think but anyway got that I've got a set of leads just in case um, like I haven't done them they haven't been done since I bought it the plugs haven't been done since I bought it the oxygen sensors haven't been done since I bought it um, and I think those these things really need to be done I haven't got any records of when it was last done and I've had it for two or three years so it has got a little miss in it um, on the occasion, it was picked up. I did have a very dirty um, little sensor in here. Um, not can't remember exactly what it's called. I'll put a little point to it. Um, but it was filled with carbon, and that was affecting the control in the motor. Uh, and it had a bit more of a misfire, but there's still a misfire there. Um, anyway, uh, that's my thought. Do the oxygen sensors, do the plugs. At least I know they're new. Uh, and uh, do the oil oil filter and I've also got a fuel filter there and then I'll clean up I've got an OTR over the radiator air intake that I had put on when I had the mathless tune done in this so this is on a mathless tune with an OTR I think they got an extra 50 horsepower out of it uh, from stock standard uh, and since then I've put the uh, four into ones uh, on it down into high flow cats hard to see them down in there but big exhaust it's really nice down into high flow cats and out to one muffler and it dumps uh, at the diff at this point in time so it's got a pretty beefy sound to it um, so that's what I'm doing get in and do a service here we are up under the car I've removed that bash plate off and uh, found the oil filter. I've already drained the oil out. Got to drop the oil filter um, and let it drain a little bit further. Um, and then I'll put a new oil filter on it and get some clean oil back into it. While I'm under here, I'm going to have a look at a few things. Um, I have had a steering fluid leak. Um, so I'm going to check whether it's the rack, take the boots off and see if there's any leakage of the seals. And if not, it's probably um, the line to or from the steering rack. So that's another job I'm going to have a look at. But uh, firstly, do this oil filter uh, while I've got it up on the hoist. And I've bought new oxygen sensors. So uh, I'll get in and change both of those out um, and put new plugs in it just to get this thing running uh, on all new gear basically and getting the sensors picking up right and hopefully I can bring my fuel economy down a little bit. So I've done a bit of a clean up under here, got the belly pan back on, that was filthy and hadn't been cleaned for yonks 
full of oil and grime, especially on the other side. Um, I've put the oil in and uh, given it a, a quick run just to check the, uh, the levels and um, then topped it up. So that's all good. I've also put the two new oxygen sensors in. They're re relatively easy. Um, yep, just undo them, screw them out, unplug it, exactly the same plug. Whack them back in. Again, they didn't show any signs of problems when I started the uh, engine. So that's where I'm at. Um, I have checked out this uh, steering rack and it definitely is the rack that's knackered. Um, just by taking these boots off here and seeing if there's any um, power steering fluid on the inside that's coming through the seals. Uh, and that one definitely has it. Has, I didn't bother taking the other side off because it's not that dirty around there. I think most of the leak is coming from this side. So I've got to investigate that, um, how to replace it. Um, most of it's pretty easy. It really is just getting up and releasing um, from the steering column up in there. Uh, the rest of it's just a couple of bolts that hold it in here and uh, release the tie rod ends. You know, nothing I haven't done on my old cars. So uh, I'll look into that. It racks about 450 bucks, which isn't bad. So I'll have a look at that for a future video. I bought this uh, originally with the Roo bar on it and uh, it did save me in that corner. But I've taken the rhubarb off now and I'm going to eventually replace the guards and bonnet and uh, nose cone and make it all new. Uh, but when I bought this nose cone, just bought it second hand, um, I didn't have the little brackets that bolt on in here. They were removed for the uh, rhubarb and I did buy a couple months and months ago. So it's another job I'm going to do while I'm here. Just going to remove the um, bumper bar, which is basically three bolts up along the top and a couple down inside each uh, front wheel and uh, she pulls off and I can replace those brackets and fit her all back up. So reasonably hard to see but uh, I've done all the plugs and leads on this side. Um, they're a Viridium style plug. The hardest one to get into is uh, right down the back behind the last uh, header pipe coming out. Um, but I just did it with a swivel on it um, and just careful when you're taking them out and putting them back in, start it with your fingers and get it threaded down a fair way. So that side's done and I've kicked it in the guts and it's running nicely. So I just wanted to prove everything was good. And now I've got to do the other side. So plugs and leads again. So this is one of the leads. They have a metal shroud that goes over here, but this is one of the leads that I took off. It's the only one I found like it and I have had a miss. Um, it's just deteriorated. Been there for a long time I'd say and that's why I decided to do this myself so I can put uh, limited resources of funds um, and maximize improvement. So instead of paying someone else's labor basically get in and do it myself and have a go and learn. I've, you know, I jump onto YouTube too and have a look, get a bit of an idea um and then go for it so anyway four plugs done four leads done uh and i've just given it a kick so it's warmed up the headers a little bit i'll let it cool for a while and i'll do the other side so she's back down off the hoist did that second bank of plugs and leads i found another lead uh similar to that one i showed you earlier um, and i've just been for a run in it now around town I was getting around, you know, 18 to 20 litres per hundred. And uh, I just went for a short run then just to get the trip meter to start to reset. And it was running down around the 15s, but it was a very, very short run. Um, uh, so I'll keep that monitored. And uh, I've still got to do the steering rack. That's something I'll look into. Um, and I'll give you some feedback back on how I went with replacing. The biggest thing, reason I did this was that misfire. So I found two bad leads. Um, the plugs all looked okay, but needed replacing anyway. And um, the oxygen sensors. So I have heard that you should replace the oxygen sensors with the plugs. So I've done that. No warning lights. Everything's running really nicely. Um, so... All done.
Thanks for watching.